Hi there guys, my name is Ted. I'm today here with Aperture. We're talking about the 300X. We're at IBC 2019. So this right here is the 300X. X standing for crossfade, crossfading between two different color temperatures, all the way down to 2700, all the way up to 6500. Now, bicolor is something we've been getting asked for for a really long time. Obviously, if you're familiar with Aperture, you know about the 120D, 300D, all daylight. D standing for daylight. But, one of the things we really asked for is bicolor, and of course it makes sense. You want the ease and convenience to be able to change wherever you go, you can actually change that color temperature. But the problem is, is that with panels, very easy to do bicolor because you're always diffusing it. With a point source LED, very difficult to do bicolor. It's something we've been asked for for a long time, and now it's finally here today. We've got it in the flesh. So, normally when people do bicolor, the two ways that I've seen them do it, they do two big chips, a daylight chip and a tungsten chip, and they fade in between the two, and that's how you get your range. The problem with that, those are going to get two shadows. The left is also going to be tungsten, the right is also going to be daylight, and especially when you use optics like a Fresnel or a projection mount or a spotlight mount, you're going to see that tungsten, you're going to see that daylight. Number two, I've seen some people take LEDs, they do strips and stripes, and I've seen them do daylight tungsten, daylight tungsten. The problem again, a Fresnel or a spotlight, you will see those exact stripes there. Huge problem if you're aware already. So this is why we haven't actually seen a bicolor Leica or a bicolor spotlight or anything like that on the market ever. So, this right here though, the way that we've done it, we've custom designed our own LED chip. This right here actually is a point source, it's actually not a chip on board LED at all. But every single pixel we've actually mapped between daylight tungsten, daylight tungsten, and behind that, we've actually also got a prism here, prism diffuser, that's actually going to break that up and make it one consistent tungsten thing. So, other than that, we've got 300D, the Bowens mount, so the Bowens mount can accept things like, of course, Fresnels, reflectors, soft boxes, beauty dishes, all that stuff snaps on immediately. But the X is finally our first version of doing point source by color. Now, of course, it's also going to have the controller box, power ball off of batteries and all that stuff. Availability should be about Q1 2020. Uh, pricing is not set yet, but it's going to be approximately about the same as the 300D Mark II. Uh, and that's about it. Yeah.